Hello everybody and welcome back to the Let's Play of the Zoo Tycoon campaign scenario playlist playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Um, so now we're doing the last Zoo Tycoon uh, intermediate scenario. It's called Beach Resort Zoo, uh, and we've got 12 months to do some stuff. What have we got to do? Uh, zoo rating 80, easy. Animal happiness 90, easy. Uh, Suitability rating of 80 for 7 exhibits. Easy. 2 animals from the Arctic, 2 animals from Australia, 2 from South America, 2 from North America, 2 from Southeast Asia, 2 from the desert in North Africa, and 5 from the savannah in Africa. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different places, i.e. 7 places for 7 exhibits. Um, and we've got 12 months, so this really does not sound difficult. It is also a last uh, Zoo Tycoon scenario, so the next one is the first of the intermediates of the Dinosaur Dig scenarios. Uh, so that'll be interesting, because it'll be back to the dinosaurs. Anyway, first things first, bulldoze everything. And everything has gone. I think. Yep, right. So, let's start building. Um, we can actually adopt dinosaurs and marine animals, but obviously we're not going to. We're just going to stick with the zoo animals. Because uh, it is a zoo tracking scenario, and the goals specifically require animals, not dinosaurs. So I guess it would make sense uh, that we stick with animals, not dinosaurs. Do have a lot of starting money as well, which is nice. Yeah, I don't think this scenario is going to be any difficult. Uh, just... Hmm... What's the first exhibit going to be? Um, two from the Arctic. Okay. So, polar bears? Yep, that works. Um, we don't have any snow on the map, so... Well, we do, but it's over there. So, it doesn't really matter where we put it. Uh, the exhibit bit, that being. But let's just put it over here. Piss. Mouse being funny again, and I can't fix it unless I got a new mouse. I don't think. Because changing the battery didn't seem to work. Um, it's fine as long as you don't click and drag, it seems. Uh, which is kind of annoying. Seeing as I'm going to want to be doing a lot of clicking and dragging. When it comes to like building exhibits or paths or whatnot. Oh well, that's just something I'll have to live with, I guess. Lots of salt water. And a Batman symbol. No, not actually going to put the Batman symbol in the exhibit. That would be impressive. Just make the Batman symbol out of, like, um, snow. And then just have the rest of salt water. Um, exactly equal, as far as I'm aware. And, like, 50% snow, 50% salt water.
too many rocks accidentally. Okay, so since we're losing 97, that's fine. It's only cost me about 20,000. Um, which is fine. We do have 12 months. I think... Hmm. If the past, if the past scenario was anything to go by, we're only going to need about 6 months to do this. But some of these exhibits might get a bit expensive, so... Um... I don't know how long we're going to need. We're probably not going to need all 12 months. But the thing is, is we can build exhibits after the seven that we need. Um, unlike in the previous scenario, where I just ended it early. So yeah, I am aware that I ended the video early, because um, we couldn't adopt animals, so we couldn't actually expand the zoo itself. And... Let me tell you, uh, we did pass the scenario, obviously. Nothing happened. Um, I think I hired maybe an extra staff member because I realised I needed one. Um, I did no research, no conservation. Uh, by the end, the zoo was making about 8000 a month. But literally nothing happened. Um, which is to be expected, really, because there were some trees there I forgot to destroy. Um, yeah, like, none of the exhibits broke down, the zoo was profitable, I couldn't build anything, uh, I couldn't do anything, so... I just ended the video, as you saw. Uh, they're going to want a zookeeper. And a tour guide. Would help. There we go. Get everything set up as normal. And rotate around. And, whoops, put in more paths. And an exhibit. Uh, what was the next one? Turn them all from Australia, so obviously we're going to go for kangaroos. Uh, what is the actual, what's the alternative? I mean, if we didn't go for kangaroos... These are all from Africa, which makes sense because they're savannah. Um, yes, yeah, so a kangaroo, or seriously looking like kangaroo or kangaroo. Yep, seriously looks like we have to do with a kangaroo. That's fine. Kangaroo is actually popular in this game. Um, so, they also don't require big exhibits, which is quite nice. Going to hide the buildings temporarily because otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, so, male, female, kangaroo. Uh, obviously, they're going to want savannah. Obviously, they're going to want trees. And sand and dirt and probably some fresh water. Okay, and uh, fresh water.
Uh, rocks. Yeah. And trees, obviously. Uh, what tree do I want? This tree, I think. Do I have a preference? Hard Quan Dong. So I actually prefer this tree, so I'll go with this one then. Because it's um big. Don't have to worry about doing the like four before trick, I don't think. Although that's a very low exhibit suitability, so maybe I'd do. Yeah, actually I'm gonna do the tree trick. Yeah, it's going up. Just a few more. It's actually gone down a bit. Eighty nine. That'll do. Um, because the thing is, we only actually need eighty. So, right, I bit low on funds, but I could build another exhibit. Um, let's increase this to thirty. Um. The restaurant's currently currently losing money, but it will make a profit later on. Um, whoops. Uh, as for the next exhibit, two animals from South America, two animals from North America. I'm actually going to go with North America because we've got a load of grass, so we can build uh, bison, which aren't massively popular, but they're very cheap, and that is good. Build a bit of scenery. And yep, build the bison. Four, five, six, seven, eight. By ten, that's fine. At least I think this is big enough. Don't remember them requiring a massive exhibit. Yep. Uh, that should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, rocks. Actually, shit, did I get the genders right? Oh, good, I did. Um. Yeah, two two females and one male. And then put in the foliage. And you're done. Really isn't hard to build a bison exhibit. It's like the easiest exhibit to build in the game. And there you go. Two to building ninety seven. That is piss easy. Couldn't be simpler, really. Unless it was all one tiny, well, all one type of terrain, just grass. But no animal is like that that I know of or can think of. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. That's good. Uh. Slowly, that'll make money. That's good. That's very good. 
So now I can build another exhibit. What's the next one? South America, Southeast Asia, Desert in North Africa, Savannah in Africa. Okay, so there's a lot of Savannah over here. Or Savannah. Um, five animals... Hmm. From the Savannah. Could build like a five animal exhibit, but... I'm thinking it might just be easier to build two exhibits, to be honest. Um, the desert in Africa implies... Um, camels. Yeah, specifically desert in North Africa, so that is camels. That has to be camels. Um, because Gemsbok are just Africa. So that has to be camels. Which leaves... Savannah, Southeast Asia, and South America. Now, for North America, we've got this. So I'm thinking American bighorn sheep. Uh, we can build the camels here, actually. That'll be good. Save money on terrain, because we've already got the sand and the dirt and the whatnot. Um, seven by I think that's big enough. Okay. Okay. Is that big enough? Yes. Good. Thought it would be, but just wanted to be sure. And finally, the trees, which obviously we're going to go for palm trees. Yeah. Sorry, I had to think then. I was thinking, are we going to go with palm trees? But yeah, we are. Suitability 92 is perfect. Uh, so let's put in a bit more scenery. And that is very good, if I say so myself. Restaurants are now making money, that's good. Uh, So let's get another exhibit up. I'm gonna go with one of the Savannah exhibits. Um could put a gift shop in here and maybe petting zoo if that fits. Does fit, just need to level the terrain. Perfect! Uh, petting Zoo doesn't make any money, but it doesn't cost any money in maintenance, I think. Oh, it does. Well, it makes the guests happy, even if it doesn't bring any money in. Um. And we're going to have lions over here, 
which are pop which are always popular. Um whoops. Bit of a weird shaped exhibit, but it is big enough, I think. So, lions, uh, shelter, rocks, terrain. Now just trees, so obviously we're going to use the tree trick. Perfect! 15,000. Um, And that is a suitability of 98. Suitability of 100. Perfect. Okay. Guess up is 96. That's really, really good. 98, 85. We only actually need a zero rating of 80. Animal happiness 90. Don't actually care about guest happiness, which is interesting. Uh, so just need South America and Southeast Asia and another savannah. Um, right, okay, so as for the other savannah exhibits, uh, specifically savannah in Africa, elephants? I think they're popular. Um, South America and Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia is quite a lot of choice. Um, probably just going to go with Bengal Tiger though, to be honest. Cheap and easy. South America could go with Jaguar. Anteater. Actually, I think they're popular. And they are cheap. So let's go with an ant... And I don't think I've done it in a while. So let's go with an anteater exhibit. Not there. Because um, that's where the... I said elephant exhibit will go. And to think what I decided in the end. But I did say elephant. Um, level some terrain out. Should have enough money. And if we don't, we've got plenty of time, so we can wait. Um, hmm. Um. South America, Southeast Asia, and Savannah. So, um, we're going to have to modify this anyway. So, let's start. Let's build the anteater because I think that's going to be quite cheap. Uh, I don't know if they can climb actually. So, let's just be safe. Better safe than sorry. Um, I 
don't think they can climb, but. Right, I think they need a lot of dirt, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Maybe some fresh water. Not as so much dirt as I thought they needed. Is that it? Oh, some grass. I should have known. Seeing as though grass is quite common. Okay, that's it. And trees, they want the Ulmo tree. Uh, where's that? It is there. That's the suitability of a hundred. That is perfect. Weirdly, it doesn't require any rocks. Actually, I've just realised. Makes no difference to the suitability, but it's more authentic if we give them a burrow than a massive shelter that they don't really want. Uh, so why has the guest happiness gone down from 96 to 93? Are things too crowded? Uh, could actually increase the price of that. Um, just make a bit more money. Not that we need it. I keep hearing vomiting sounds, but I don't know why, and I, I can only presume it's because the crowds are... or the pathways are too crowded. Uh, not really a lot I can do about that, because of the way I've built the zoo. Uh, I mean, I can double up some paths, but I can't double up all of them, because of... simply because of that's how I've built the zoo. Um... It's gone back up to 94 now, so... Animal happiness and zoo rating are both fine. Zoo rating is limited simply by the size of the zoo. Because we only have six exhibits. It's gone back up to 95 now, so... I don't know what's going on with that guest happiness. We're gonna need another... Yeah, let's go with three zookeepers. Um, how are we doing for finances? So if we just look at May... Yeah, we're profitable, we're fine. I mean, I'd be surprised if we weren't profitable, but... It's always good to check. Right, it's gone back up to 96 now. Must have just been something weird going on. I could always build like a Japanese garden or something because they really increase the happiness. Um, casually build one here. Let's 
They don't make any money, but they do increase happiness. By quite a lot. But they, also, they also can't take that many guests, which is a bit annoying. you talking about? Why did you not tell me that now? Or earlier? For fuck's sake, you stupid zookeeper. Mm. No wonder the suitability was so low. The freaking exhibit wasn't complete. So 92 suitability. Definitely need those trees there, though. That's nice. Okay, so Susan is at 92. Uh, that's about the limit it'll get to. Can't really increase it more, annoyingly. That's going up to 97 now, that's really good. 98, 86. Okay, I don't know why it went down, but everything's fine now, so. And let's actually give them another tour guide. Uh, and a map. Polar Bear is ill, hopefully someone will um, cure him soon. Fuck. Okay, now they can't complain about getting lost, because there's a map there, there's a map there. So there's two maps at the entrance, and one at the exit, because the entrance is the exit. And one outside the animal theatre, so they can't complain about getting lost. There's also plenty of them... Well, quite a lot for them to do, so they can't really complain about being bored either. Um, yeah, it's unlikely we'll meet the six months goal, but still need one more from the savannah. Actually, we might not, because the lions will just breed anyway, so... Like, we only need two lion babies, and we've done that, so maybe we don't need another exhibit. Uh, but we do need a Southeast Asian exhibit. Um, so let's get on with that. In fact, given that we have a lot of salt water here, let's build a crocodile exhibit. Save ourselves a bit of money, because we are a bit low on money at the moment. Um, And foliage, obviously. Okay, can someone not fucking cure that polar bear? I feel like this is a bit silly.
Uh, suitability 88. That's fine. Right. Polar bears cured. They are hungry. Not a massive issue. Um, guest time has gone down to 93. Back up to 94. So... Assuming the lions don't breed, then we need to build another exhibit for them. Um, I think we're just going to build a zebra exhibit, because cheap and easy. Um, so let's do just that, and then we're done. And seeing as though it's highly unlikely that, we'll, that anything will happen that we fail, I'll probably just end the video. Um, because nothing's going to happen. Okay, so zebras can jump, but they can't climb, so that's fine. Yeah, nothing, nothing's going to happen where it's like, oh no, you failed. Um, so I'm probably just going to end the video. Unless I decide to expand the zoo, but even then, the video would need to be like an extra... Well... An extra six months. It's like 45 minutes. Nah. 35 minutes? I don't know. But yeah, I don't want the video to be an extra 35 minutes of just me talking about nothing for the sake of talking, kind of. Um. Because otherwise I'll just be waffling on and on and on. And to be honest, I've got better things to do. And I'm sure you've got better things to do than watch me just waffle on and on and on for an hour. Or 45 minutes or 30 minutes. Especially when like the only actual gameplay that would be going on would be occasionally building in exhibits. Um, but not because we have to, but simply to fill time. Which is rather boring. Didn't even realise we were low on money. But that 10,000 will mean... Well, we're not going to need any more money after that, because I think the zoo is profitable. So it's supposed to be 94, that's fine. 97, 98, 87. So we fulfilled all the objectives. Um, and we did it in just over six months. Um, so I'm going to save the game. Beach Resort Zoo. And I'm going to end the video here because uh, we've completed the objectives and don't have enough money for another exhibit. I can't really be bothered expanding the zoo. Uh, so all that's left to do now would be to wait six months, five and a half months. It'd be like an extra half an hour. I can't really be bothered doing that, I'm sure wouldn't be that interesting to watch. So that is the end of this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have anything to say, leave a comment, uh, share it everywhere, and subscribe to my channel for more uh, of my videos. And I will see you in the next video, whatever, whenever that may be. Take care, goodbye folks, and I'll see you soon.